Who can tell me, without looking at the book, what we're focusing on today? Iris. Yeah, John Calvin, good job. And what was John Calvin, what kind of big movement or kind of thing are we talking about when we do it on this Sunday of the year? Elsa. Reformation Sunday. Does anyone actually really remember what we are kind of talking about when we say Reformation? Elsa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of when people realized, hang on, what the church is teaching is actually not exactly what the Bible teaches. we got to get back on track. We've got to get back to what the Bible says instead of what humans say is right. So we've got to listen to what God says instead of what humans make up. Now, John Calvin was one of the people who realized this and got people thinking, let's get back on track, guys. So we're going to read a little bit about John Calvin from this book, Reformation ABCs, and we, we will do C for Calvin. So C is for cowboy, color, and Calvin. One day, while John Calvin was teaching, some of his students were drawing pictures on their notes. They even drew pictures of their teacher, Calvin. He had a long, pointy beard and a long, thin chin. He wore a scholar's cap, and during the cold winter months, he wore a big, thick coat. He didn't always look like that. He was once a boy. He grew up in France, where there was, when he was only 14 years old, he went away to college in the city of Paris. He loved being in college. He wanted to write big books for college students. God called him to be his child. Because of Calvin's beliefs, the church and the city officials of Paris were out to get him. Calvin had to run away. He ran all the way to Switzerland and ended up staying in the city of Geneva. Geneva had a lake, big snow-capped mountains all around it, and a high, high, high cathedral. Calvin started preaching at that cathedral. He preached about a holy God who sent Jesus Christ to die on a cross for our sin. He even wrote big books for the church. Calvin loved music. Many people came to Geneva to hear Calvin preach. They came from Florence and from France, from Cambridge and from castles in Scotland. They came because God had captured Calvin's heart. God had called Calvin out of the darkness and into the light. So, in the Reformation, which was about 500 years ago, yeah, a long time ago, John Calvin was one of the blokes that God used to get the church back on track. And he even used John Calvin to change a lot of the people's minds in Geneva, the city he was living in, to realize that God is the, the way to go. With God's help, John and a couple of other guys changed a whole city to be for God. Isn't that a cool thing? And then that was the Reformation in Geneva, and it happened a lot of other places, but I think it's good to think about changing a lot of people's minds to be for God. And that's something we can pray for. If we, have, if we want God to change people's hearts, we've got to pray for it, because he's the only one who can, who can change their hearts. So I think we're going to pray that we would have the courage and that we would be wanting to share that, like, like how Calvin preached, God is the only way. How about that? We'll pray. Dear God, thank you that you are the boss and that you're in control of everything and people's hearts. Please help us to want to share your good news with people, to give, give us opportunities to do that. And we do pray for revival and even reformation in Narrabri. Amen.